my purple banditos and welcome back to some more let's play pokemon x i'm purple rodri last time we got, began the post game here in uh Kailud city we battled some people in the battle mansion and then we took on our rival serena who gave us some absolite or something like that today we're actually going to be doing something very special and we're going to be going after a legendary pokemon which a lot of you guys have been telling me you want to see. Let's make our way to Snowbell City then. It's actually located in an area where we previously visited. If you guys remember that weird forest where we bumped into Wolfric or whatever the heck his name was. The weird guy, the ice dude from here. That's where we're going to be going again because that is where we're going to find the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo. And yes, we are going after Mewtwo. Who would have thought? The coolest most baddie cool guy Mewtwo I love Mewtwo I mean I remember still catching my first Mewtwo I'm pretty sure I still have him on my Pokemon yellow uh and he's got the muse he's got the moves like oh man I should really look that up I think he's got like swift um psychic the tri attack thing and then he's got like one more which I honestly don't remember what it is but it's something like that I don't know it's kind of cool though that I, I still remember those moves he's on my Pokemon yellow so I don't know kind of kind of reminiscent of what we're doing today so I thought I'd tell you guys a little bit about it where am I go am I going the right direction if you guys remember last time we were here things got a little little complicated we had a little bit more trouble than we usually do and by that I mean let's make it double because uh, it was very difficult navigating through the lost woods over here kind of reminds me of Majora's Mask kind of feel like playing that game a little bit I kind of love me some Majora's Mask that game is uh, the bomb no that wasn't the right way let's go back up here I somewhat I somewhat remember this path you know I don't get enough credit sometimes oh god it's the little baby the protector of the forest they call her baby rena okay i think we're getting really close now no this isn't the right way though let's head downwards don't let the baby see us don't let the baby see us if the baby sees us we're gonna have to battle it and i really don't feel like battling a baby today uh yes let's use another repel please thank you thank you very much for uh reminding me of my repels okay so we've made it back here to the pokemon village what up my pokemons what up what up how you guys doing today no i'm not trying to wonder trade nintendo 3ds no i do not this was where snorri slept we let him go i'm such an evil traitor what am i doing with my life wait i think this is where we go okay guys so it's right up here uh where we need to go in order to find mewtwo's cave and uh thanks to all you guys who told me where exactly this thing was really couldn't have done this without you guys i probably would have just ran around for uh four hours not really knowing where to go and then eventually not caught mewtwo so thanks to you guys for the tip um i'm pretty sure up that waterfall is the move psychic fun fact i don't really need it but that's a fun fact for you okay it looks like we're ready to do this let me check my bag please tell me i have uh enough balls ready to go yes okay we're good all right guys here we go let's do this we're gonna take on mewtwo we've opened the unknown dungeon and up ahead is the one we've been waiting for holy crap he is huge his tail i don't think that is his tail let's go ahead and challenge your mewtwo Here we go, Rodri versus Mewtwo. It has appeared, 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 appeared. All right, guys, Mewtwo is level 70. We don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I'm going to go ahead and assume it's a guy. And uh, we're actually going to throw a quick ball at it because if you guys know, sometimes quick balls have a uh, pretty good chance of sticking on legendaries. Especially if you use it on the first try, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see if some magic happens and Ow oh, man! I thought we had it. That was real close. That was uh that was real good. Holy crap, Mewtwo does a ton of damage. I don't know if this Mewtwo has recover or those sorts of things. Uh I really couldn't tell you guys, but to be honest with you, I don't see a Pokemon more suited for this Pokeball. I was just gonna try the quick ball. 
But other than that, I kind of want to use the Master Ball on Mewtwo. If you guys know a little bit of the lore, the Master Ball was forcefully created by Team Rocket in order to catch Mewtwo. So that's what I'm going to do here, and I am going to use the Master Ball on Mewtwo. It's something that I've always done, and it's something that I'm going to do here today. I don't know why I've done it every single game that Mewtwo's in. So with that, there we have it, guys. Gotcha! Mewtwo was caught. I think it's kind of nice because the M2, kind of like Mewtwo, just, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm weird, I don't know, if I'm not the only one that does it, let me know in the comments, maybe I'm not crazy, and uh, Mewtwo's data was added to the Pokedex, so sweet, let's check it out, wow, he looks so cool, Mewtwo is the genetic Pokemon, it is a psychic type, it's 6 foot 7, 269 pounds, it was created by a scientist after years of horrific gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments, uh, with that, we're gonna go ahead and give Mewtwo a nickname, I'm gonna call him, uh, wow, this is kind of a, kind of a cool moment, I don't know what to call it, honestly, I'm gonna call it, I don't know, this sounds kind of cool, this sounds kind of cool, I, I like it, I like it, if you guys have ever heard of this, it, it, it reminds me of, of a little something something, if you guys have ever watched Garfield, I'm gonna call it Odie, you know, like Odie the dog in Garfield, come here Odie, I think that's cool, alright, Odie has been transferred, to box one in the PC, and we obtain Mewtwo Knight X. Wow, nice. That's kind of uh, kind of uh, half half excited now. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go ahead and get out of here then. Um, no, we don't want to use another Pell. I do want to actually try out Mewtwo though. I know, kind of strange. I actually just want to check out his Mega Evolution. So let's head to uh, where where am I going to be able to find battles quickly? Battles quickly. Aqua Core Town. Vainville Town. Let's just head back to Snowbell City. And I'm just going to switch him out really quickly. Just so we can see what Mewtwo X looks like. I know a lot of you guys are probably excited to see him. What he looks like. Because I know that he's one of the Pokemon that his Mega Evolutions actually look different in X and Y. And I'm interested myself to check him out. So why not? Alright, let's go ahead and... Alright, look, look. If I could learn to walk anytime soon, that would be lovely. We booted up the PC. Let me go ahead and deposit one of our main men. We, we obtained a commemorate first clearing the game you are lovely pokemon thank you for doing that i'm gonna go ahead and deposit let's deposit some arms it's all good it's all good some arms you know you're my dog you know you you know you're my homie dog slice all right let's get mewtwo then he looks so cool with the master ball i think uh the master ball is just like destined for him just something that i really enjoy to do with my free time is is do that all right and i'm also gonna go ahead and give him the mewtwo knight x now um, I kind of like the fact that Charizard and Mewtwo are some of the few that actually have, like, Charizard, Charizardite X or whatever it's called, and Mewtwo Knight X. I like the fact that they're a little bit different and that, you know, we, we get to do that with them. Okay, so let me go ahead and put them up in front, too. We're going to challenge the first person we see here. So someone's about to get wrecked because Odie's already level 70, which is kind of crazy. All right, where are you at, little kids? I want to beat one of you up. Where are the little kids that I like to beat up? Yeah, baby! Come here. I'm about to beat the crap out of you, little baby. Come here, little baby girl. All right, guys. We're going to challenge little fairy tale girl Lovelin. All right. She's going to send out a Mr. Mime. And I'm going to go ahead and send out Odie. It's kind of cool. I don't really use legendaries. But, you know, I got to show off the Mega Evolution once in a while, guys. I got to... I gotta show that off. Alright, let's go for the Mega Evolution. Then I'm gonna drop the Aura Sphere. Let's make some magic, because here comes the Power Rangers! Mewtwo Knight X. You know, because tonight he's gonna... Tonight he's loving you. You know what I'm saying? Holy crap, he looks... What happened to his tail? Oh, there it is. This dude looks stranger than a mother fudger. He looks like a... Wow, that does nothing? Come on, man! I'm just trying to put a little damage here. Just trying to do a little something to Mewtwo. Did it have to be a psychic, uh, psychic type trainer we take on today? Come on, man. Come on, Mewtwo. You don't got better moves than a psychic. Let's just go for the psychic. It's probably going to start one hit KOing. I don't know what the differences are between, between Mewtwo X and Y. Maybe you guys do. I really couldn't tell you. But if you know the differences, maybe one's a physical attacker. Maybe the other one's a special attacker. If that's what it is, then cool for me. If it isn't, then that sucks, because uh, I'm not going to figure that out. All right, there we go. See? 
I knew Mewtwo was gonna be killing this. I knew he was gonna be doing that thing. I knew he was gonna be doing awesome. Nessie's growing some levels too. All right, and last but not least, it's gonna be Mr. Mime. I like the fact that we're getting to use Mewtwo. It's uh, kind of a nice little, little adventure. Let's go for the Psychic. It's gonna probably do a lot. Yes, it is. All right, Mr. Mime, see you later. With that, we have defeated our biggest rival yet. The biggest challenger, Fairy Tail Girl Lovelin. She was the toughest battle we'll have in all of the Kalos region, guys. If you knew that, that's why I saved her for one of our last battles. All right, guys, with that, we've done pretty much everything we could here at this point. Next time, we'll continue on, catch another legendary Pokemon, or maybe even head to Annister City, where uh, Professor Sycamore is waiting for us. If you guys have any tips on what's coming up, you know, like I always say, I need these tips as bad as my Pokemon need a better trainer. Let me know. The post game's fun, but I'm going to need some help from you guys, especially on the looker stories. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.